in this particular question uh, basically this is an ncert question but again a very important question because these questions are in itself which i i am discussing from last two three classes are very difficult at the same time very important this ncert question because it is from ncert it becomes very important because uh, it is in the textbook using euclid division lemma show that uh, use euclid division lemma to show that square of any positive integer can you tell me any positive integer is of the form 3 cube 2 cube plus 1 3 cube plus very good one second sorry for this let me just open it again it will take 2 3 seconds okay is either of the form 3m 3m plus 1 so when the question is talking about m so please do not take uh, your variable as m let's say they say this as q so you please do not start the question with q start with some other variable that what i'm trying to say is that thing clear yeah. let any positive integer b of the form 3q 3q plus 1 3q plus 2 yes or no yes now again yeah. we have three cases b any positive integer uh n Let any positive integer n be of the form three q three q plus one three q plus two. Okay, so case number one. When n equals to three q. Now question is saying square. So when we are doing square, so we'll square both sides. Yeah. Okay, so n square equals to three q square nine q square. Now, yeah. question is asking us to convert this into either, either, either means not both, one of them, any one, one of them, any one. The question is saying write in the form of three table of three m plus one. Understood. So this okay. can be converted into three table, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Like this. Nine yes. can be written as three into three. Yes. Yeah. So therefore, it is three m, where m equals to three q square. Understood. Okay. Yeah. So converted. So first case converted into three M. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. So case number two. Case two, where n equals to three q plus one. Three q plus one. Now squaring both the sides. So n square equals to three q plus one whole square. This is your identity. Okay. A square plus b square plus two ab. Fine. Yeah. That, yeah. So nine q square. Plus one, plus six q. Now I'm keeping in order nine q square plus six q plus one. I don't think so. I can take three common from all, isn't no. it? But I can take three common from these two. 
So let me just take three common. So what will I get? Three Q square plus two Q. Sorry, uh, so yeah, two Q. Q. So two Q. Yes, I can take Q common also, but it's okay. This is also correct. I want three. Question is talking about three. Okay. Therefore, three M plus one, where M equals to three Q square plus two Q. Is that thing clear? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, case number three. Case number three is n equals to what? Three q plus uh, three q plus two. Three q plus two. Okay. Next question is also similar, but let's focus on this one. Please do it right now and send me a photo of this part right now. Okay. Then I will. So are you getting this much? Yeah. Now getting stuck. Very important step. This four can be written as Three plus one. Now these three will have three common. So three Q square plus four Q plus one plus one. Understood? Okay, but there's no so therefore three M plus one where M equals to three Q square plus four Q plus one. That's it. Yeah. Did so you understand? Be, so it should be three M plus two, right? Why? Three M plus two? No, because N and also we took three. Q, uh, 3Q plus 3. The question is saying we have to convert this into 3M or 3M plus oh, 1. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Only both of them. Yes. So, so can I you totally go right. Yeah. Sorry? Can, it, can you go a little bit right? Yeah. You can copy this thing. Yeah. 